Hi everyone, I'm so glad you're here hanging out with me and talking about neat interior design topics. In today's video, we're going to be focusing in on art and two-dimensional art. So art on paper and art on canvas and how we can best care for that so that we can enjoy it and it can be the focal point of our places. We're going to be talking about framing considerations and also display considerations. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd love to have you stick around and join me. And I want to reach out and thank everyone for subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. It's really helping me to grow my channel. So thank you so much. So hang out with me if you'd like to learn more about that topic and we'll get started. So the first type of two-dimensional artwork that we'll talk about is artwork created on paper. And we'll take a look at what are some examples of that type of art. And then also, you know, how to best preserve the artwork so that it'll last as long as possible. So, you know, examples of artwork that's on paper would be, you know, watercolor paintings, pen and ink, original drawings, collages, mixed media, photography, and then even fine art prints. And anything created on paper is inherently very, very delicate. So we need to be really extra careful about even handling the artwork and then also making sure that we preserve it so it will last as long as possible. And ideally, we always would want to frame an artwork on paper and we would want to frame it under glass and ideally with a mat because what a mat does it kind of does a couple different things you know having a mat around an artwork helps to frame it in a little bit like you know to focus our eyes a little bit but also it keeps the artwork away from touching the glass so you know ideally you know to have a have a mat around your artwork but if not, that's okay. You can totally um, frame something under glass, but just making sure that it's professionally done and that the artwork isn't touching the glass. And then there's a couple of considerations to think about when you are going to display, you know, an original piece of art on paper. There are two places in our homes where I wouldn't advise hanging you know original artwork in general but especially anything that's created on paper and that would be in a very sunny location so if you have a room that has direct sun sunlight on the wall don't hang the artwork there you know choose a different location because sun is you know can really degrade even fabrics and so sun will help fade your artwork quicker than it would do naturally and it may even change you know the color of the paper and it just it's not great so just avoid that choose a different location and then the other location where you wouldn't want to hang you know an original artwork on paper is any you know, high humidity room. So we can think of, you know, a busy bathroom, family bathroom where people are taking showers and taking baths every day. And there's a lot of moisture in there. And the last thing that you want to do is to hang, you know, an original piece of artwork on paper, but maybe even any type of original artwork in that bathroom because it could start to buckle and, you know, hurt the integrity of that piece. So just keep those things in mind, you know, handle, you know, original artwork on paper very delicately and make sure that you always frame it under glass and just display it somewhere where it's going to be preserved and protected and somewhere we, where you can enjoy it, you know, for as long as possible. And then the other two dimensional artwork that we'll talk about is artwork on canvas and then how to best care for that. So if you think about artwork on canvas, we can think about, you know, oil paintings, 
acrylic paintings, maybe um, encaustic paintings that has wax in it. There could be mixed media. So just a variety of different types of materials that artists use to create, you know, an original artwork on canvas. And then canvas is really, um, uh, in general, a thick, very thick cotton. They even refer to it as duck canvas. And sometimes you know, uh, artworks on canvas are also made out of linen. So instead of a cotton type of thick fabric, the artist may be using linen instead. Either way, you'll find, you know, artwork on canvas in kind of two different ways. There's, you know, different variations, but two main ways that we may find um, a painting on canvas. And one of those is where the canvas is stretched pulled over a wood frame and it's stapled or nailed to the back of that. And the other way is maybe the canvas is just glued onto a paper board. So it's very narrow and thin. And in general, if you have, you know, an original painting on canvas that's stretched over a wood frame, you don't necessarily have to frame it, but you know, if you even just add a very simple frame just around the perimeter, something that doesn't take away from the main subject of that painting, it does help to, you know, protect those edges because that's fabric. And so, you know, it does help to protect it. Now, if you have a painting that's on, you know, a board, you know, that's been painted on just a thin board, well, that for sure will need to be framed because otherwise there wouldn't be a way to display that on your wall. And one thing about, you know, artwork on canvas, we don't have to put a glass uh, piece over it. Those materials that are used, like the oil paints and acrylic paints especially, they are much more durable than say like watercolor painting. So we don't have to uh, think about that as much. Um, but what I would always think about is being sure to display your original artwork in a place where it's not going to get direct sun, just like something that's on paper, and then also not in a very high humidity room. You know, artwork is, you know, very precious and it could be very expensive and an investment for you. And so you want to make sure whether you have, you know, an artwork on paper or on campus that you display it somewhere where it'll be cared for, but most importantly, a place where it'll be the focal point of the room and where you can enjoy it and, you know, even pass it on to the next generation. So I hope you enjoyed this video all about two-dimensional artwork and making sure that we care for it in a way that we can enjoy it and have it be a focal point in our homes. And if you're interested, I have a fun design exercise at the end for you to kind of think about different considerations for your own artwork in your place. So thank you so much and take care. So this video's design exercise is for you to take a look at the artwork in your place and checking to see that it's displayed in areas where it's not going to get direct sunlight or, you know, in a high moisture, humidity, you know, busy bathroom where it's going to get a lot of moisture. So just to kind of double check that and if you need to make any changes to, you know, display it somewhere else. And, you know, maybe just double checking that, you know, you are enjoying your artwork. You know, do you need to change where one of your favorite paintings is so you can look at it and see it more often? So just kind of take those things into consideration and then share, you know, what you have came up with in the comments. You know, if you change where your artwork's going to be or, you know, if it kind of made you think of some new options about where to hang your artwork so you can enjoy it more. So share those in the comments because we would all love to hear about it.